After the non-cooperation movement of 1920 and civil disobedience movement of 1930s, Gandhi ji started the Quit India movement on this day in 1942. It started during World War II demanding an end to the British rule of India. For the previous two movements, historians criticize Gandhi for his liberal attitude towards British government. However, he played a strong role in the Quit India movement. On this day, Gandhi started the movement in Bombay and then he called a meeting at Gwalior Tank Maidan where he gave his famous Quit India speech. He declared that the British must leave India immediately or else mass agitation would take place. He ended his speech with a slogan to or die. However, just after the speech police arrested him under the defense of india rule it was soon that all the leadership was inside the jail and there was no one to lead the protesters outside so it was anarchy everywhere therefore quit india movement is the only violent movement which is associated to gandhi even when the british government asked gandhi to stop the violence in february 1943 gandhi started a 21 day fast from within the jail saying the violence of the protesters is counter violence to the violence of the british government now to know the reason behind this whole movement it is important to understand the international scenario as well in 1939 with the outbreak of war between germany and britain india became a party to the war by being a constituent component of the british empire indian nationalists were angry that british governor general of india lord linlithgow was brought india into the war without consultation with them The Muslim League supported the war but Congress was divided. In its working committee in September 1939, Congress passed the resolution of supporting the war against fascism on condition if India will get independence in return. But getting rebuffed by the British government, they started the Quit India movement in 1942. When all the leadership was arrested, the young leaders emerged to lead the movement. We got the leaders like Achyut Patwardhan, Aruna Asif Ali, Ram Manohar Lohia, Suchita Kripalani, Biju Patnaik, and Jay Prakash Narayan. Even the big business people of the country were supporting these underground leaders, and radio played an important role in their underground work. Nanka Mudwani was the owner of Chicago radio broadcast in America. He helped Usha Mehta in running a party radio station from different location of Bombay. It was reaching up till Madras. Ram Manohar Lohia and Purushottam Das Tirkam Das used to give their speeches on this radio to reach to people. However, British government found out about the radio in November 42. Still there are many questions left unanswered. Why did it take more than 2 years for Gandhi to come out of the custody? How did the Quit India movement helped to achieve the independence in 1947? There are many more questions and therefore to know the answer of all these questions we are inviting our special guest of the program. She is well known Indian historian known for her work on Indian independence movement. An alumni of Lady Shri Ram College and a professor from Jawaharlal Nehru University Mridula Mukherjee. So listeners now we have a special guest in our program she is a professor in Jawaharlal Nehru University a retired professor from university and she has been a professor in history department if i am not wrong ma'am so very pleasant to talk to you ma'am in this our program thank you very much to join us in this program ma'am first of all i will ask you to introduce yourself to our listeners please i am ridula mukherjee i am a historian based in delhi i worked for the better part of my life at the jawaharlal nehru university as a professor of history and i was also a few years the director of the nehru memorial museum and library my interests uh, are particularly in the history of our struggle for freedom today we are talking about the quit india movement started just on the same day on 8 august so would you please let us know about the whole incident what exactly the incidents were happening during that period 
The Quit India movement started in the middle of the Second World War when India had been uh, forcibly made a party to the war by the British government, which ruled over us. India did not want to be a party to that war, but it had been forced. And uh, ever since the war had started in 1939, there was a lot of discontent building up in India about this decision of the British uh, government. And India had to suffer a lot of difficulties because of this. We were forced to pay large amounts of money to support the war. Our soldiers were sent to uh, battlefields in Europe and all over the world to fight the war. So there was a lot of discontent. Prices had been rising, etc., etc. So in order to give expression to this discontent, And then particularly what happened in 1942 was that the Japanese, who were adversaries of the British in that war, as you know, Japan was on the side of Germany and Italy. Yeah, man. They had been uh, very active in Southeast Asia and they had conquered from the British a lot of Southeast Asia and they had come as far as Burma. And there was a fear that the Japanese might also invade India. And the Indian National Congress leadership, especially Gandhiji, were very concerned that it should not happen that the Japanese come and now occupy India and we become, uh, you know, now subjects of the Japanese colonial government. So they were very keen that India should be in a fighting mood. So part of the reason for declaring starting the, you know, Quit India movement was that people should be able to resist any eventuality, whether it is British oppression or whether it is the Japanese victory over the British, whatever should happen, people should be in a fighting mood. Ma'am, there was an incident, uh, basically British passed a law during the 1935 and they brought it in India and it has some sort of relationship to that law as well, I, whatever I have to for, like could find in, during the research. And Gandhi was not in agreement of that sort of law. Is there any kind of relationship between There's this? There's no direct relationship to that. You are talking about the 1935 Government of India Act, which brought about some changes in the way India was governed. And under that, elections had already been held in 1937. And uh, many Indian uh, governments had been formed in many provinces, but all of them had actually, in protest against being made a party to the war in 1939, they had already resigned. So the discontent with that act and the way it was being going had already been expressed. So Mm -hmm. Quit India was not directly connected to the 1935 Act, which in any case was not uh, being in operation during this period because the Congress ministers, MLAs had all resigned en masse Hmm. in 1939. Okay. And what was the role of Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi in this whole movement? Well, he was the undisputed leader of this movement. It was he who gave the call for Quit India. It was he who gave the slogan of Do or Die. It was a historic occasion in uh, at the Gowalia tank in Bombay just before the movement began. In fact, on 8th of uh, August, there was a huge uh, crowd had collected for the All India Congress Committee meeting in thousands where the decision was taken that uh, if the government did not give in to their demands, a movement would be launched. That very night, before the morning could break, the top leadership, including Gandhiji, were all arrested from all over India and put into jail. And on the 9th of August, in reaction to that suppression, that the top leadership all over the country could be put in jail, the people erupted in protest. And there were protests all over the country, especially initially in the big cities, Bombay, Patna, Delhi, Calcutta. Students were very active in the movement. They came out in large numbers. There was firing at many places. Many people died. And after that, the movement continued. It spread from the towns and cities into the rural areas. In Maharashtra, for example, after some time, a parallel government was set up where uh, the writ of uh, movement you know, ran in a large part of the rural areas of Satara district. Similarly, in eastern UP and Bihar, there was a parallel government. So for 15, 20 days, there was no government presence in the whole of that region. 
in um, Midnapur in Bengal, there was a parallel uh, government. So various kinds of things happened. Many people went on Satyagraha. Many people took to violence also and they attacked government offices. They attacked the kacheris, they attacked stations, all that they saw as symbols of British domination. It, indeed, they played a very important role in this struggle and that is how we could get this freedom. And now we are going to celebrate this Independence Day on 15th August. So ma'am, what kind of relationship, how did we succeed from there to the freedom? After the Quit India movement, the the spirit which the people showed, the powerful way in which they reacted, and even when all the leaders had been put into jail and there was no leadership outside, the way the people on their own at the lower levels of society, how they could come out and struggle against the British in 1,000 ways. As I said, through parallel governments, then there was an underground movement, there was sabotage. After that, the British came to the realization that we could not rule India anymore. So as soon as the Second World War ended, they started negotiations with the Indian parties especially the Congress, which was the leading party of the freedom struggle, and Gandhiji and Nehru and Mullah Nazar, how the transfer of power was to take place. That process took two years, but essentially the decision that the British had to leave was brought on by the success, the grand success and the great spirit shown by the people of India in the Quit India movement. And that is why we cannot forget this day. We must celebrate this day. Thank you very much to participate in our program, ma'am. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now, with such a wise and depth information about the Quit India Movement by Professor Miradullah Mukherjee from Jawaharlal Nehru University, I am leaving this program here. And you keep listening to us on 96.9 FM Apna Radio. This program was produced by Fiza Chaudhary. Goodbye. अपना रेडियो 96.9 एफएम